I can house. do I can do the thing. Excellent. All right. Uh, appears that we are live. So, provide thine recap for inspiration. Mm, yes. Uh, so, um, we went to go to this lumber mill to figure out what the heck is going on, get some uh, better idea of what exactly is happening. Uh, and they were very rude and didn't allow us in. Uh, but they did allow us to kind of sneak around a little bit. Uh, and we found out that the Mr. Priest guy who was going to come meet us is a big, horrible, disgusting monster who's making lumber out of his scales or whatever, or skin, we're not quite sure. Uh, and he's hypnotizing people, plus he's some sort of god-feared eldritch abomination that's just here and uh, brainwashing the town people, and he killed the foreman, and all these people are potentially ruined for life. And now we're going to give him a very, very stern talking to. Um, didn't he actually transform the f foreman into something? According to uh, Lunara's vision, the foreman was transformed. Yeah, I mean, transformed. He's dead, dead in spirit. Tomato. Yeah. Dominion. Anyways, uh, you have earned your inspiration, and I'm going to put on some combat music, because we ended with some spicy uh, iron getting caught. Yeah. Yeah, because natural ones are fun. It's a cursed existence. Make sure this is looped. Um, give me a moment to try to remember what I was going to do. All right, go ahead. You might have it posted in one of the chats, by the way. I think you posted yeah. about it. I really memo do to self. Think there it is. Point, I think at this point we were kind of basically boiling down to plan burn it down. But whatever you says should take precedence over that. that oh that no, moment. we were we were going to plan burn it down. I just need I just remember I was going to try to frame it on the Empire. Oh yeah, no, that's that's kind of our plan in general. Transform into Oswin Terran accidistic role and state something like, well then, so. I mean, I'd, I'd suggest not burning it down because there might be stuff here that we need to investigate, but. We kind of investigated most of it though. Yeah, but there's that room underneath the lumber mill that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of why blaming on the Empire is kind of plan one. B. I think we're plan. Oh, I think we're on Plan Z right now. Just have gone through a lot of plans. Yeah. I, I I thought the plan was not to kill all the innocent people. That that would be nice. No, we're not. No, we're not killing all the innocent. It's more we're fighting back now. I was like. Well, yes, because Plan Burn It Down. I'm sure just 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 spares all the innocent people. <laughs> plan Salted Earth. I mean. In character, I have no control over what you're doing here. Out of character, fire has no morality, no allegiances. The fire is innocent. The fire is innocent, but the one who uses it does know the consequences of their actions. Okay, so I have a quick question. Uh, do I take an attack opportunity while invisible here? Um, from these two, they one they they've already used their reaction, so you are you free in that regard. Um, two. They cannot see you, um, so they just know that you're in that location because of the cultists who can see you. Um, now, because your stealth is so low, they are aware of your presence, and this is because that invisibility is not like you just you just don't appear. It's more like chameleon from Oblivion, where you're like somewhat translucent. You're you're. For most part, not really there, but there's like a shimmering field of force around you that you okay. know makes up your body. So they technically are aware of you; they just can't react because they're, yeah, you, they can't see you. Um, if you would to use an action, or you had some way to bonus action hide, uh, you could do that because you are invisible versus those who cannot physically see you. Um, but otherwise, mm. your stealth remains at ten. So if I went here and then did a hide. 
you would be able to hide again and get a new stealth, yes. Though those who can physically see you at this point in time would still be able to see you unless you can block line of sight. So they would just automatically pass their, their stealth, or their uh, perception. Oh, okay. So I would have to, like, go here. Uh... Speaking of that, I should probably go look at some of my details on my minions, because I need to yeah, recap. Cool. Yep. Let's see. The big body boom that I need to look at. Um. What action was it to change to change form again? As a continue, let me look that up real fast. Okay. Uh, I think we are at the point of just... Uh, who was in the Mind Link again? I believe Cry is no longer in it. Because they switched uh, Cry out for uh, Wary, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I'm pretty I sure I was in it. Yeah. Okay. No. Someone was switched out. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it was Cry. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, Wary was in it the whole time, I believe. Well, everyone besides Cry is in it, so you guys are good. Okay. In that case, I'm going to just uh, let people in the Mind Lake know that I'm probably not going to be able to get away at this point. But, and uh, we're switching to the plan of, all right, let's pin it, pin it on the Barony then. And uh, I will be transforming into... Who was Osman Terran again? He was Magical Advisor, I think, right? Is the... Uh, yeah, I mean, he's the Magical Advisor to the Baron himself. Uh, think of him kind of like the uh, second in command of the, the Barony. Okay. Um... And, uh, so... Cry, or, uh... Not Cry. Uh, Lunara, you have gained knowledge of what uh, your friendly neighborhood Ayn has provided you. I believe the way your telepathy works, you get the information, then you send it outwards. So, same result, but you know. So, as a reminder, I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Yeah. And then. Yeah. Uh, Kasuna. Okay, then hold on. I just need to check the actual action here because I want to make sure I can do this right. Pass an action. Poly, uh, polymorphy won't, won't break my stealths, right? Like, they will still have to break it normally. You are wanting to do your change shape feature? Yes. Let me go look at it. Uh, da -da -da -da. This is from your change link? Or your uh, kitsune? Uh, kitsune, yep. Okay. Da -da -da -da. Just kind of remind myself of the particular thing. Supernatural ability. Your invisibility would drop. Would it show? Would if it would drop? Would it be in say 
I would allow you uh, to roll a stealth or sleight of hand to have it drop as the form changes, so it's not like an instant okay. show. Okay, so realistically, I can't do that until I'm actually out of sight. Uh, okay. Well, that's unfortunate. Yeah. Uh, Generally, if it is a, a supernatural power and it's an action, it will be considered a, uh, I think that drops invisibility. Okay. Um, in that case, I'm just gonna go here. Yeah. There might be some exceptions. A lot of rogue things will probably not drop invisibility, but, uh, generally, yeah. All right, moving on there with a dash, and, uh... And, uh, can I make a skill check, stealth, or no? No, uh, stealth, since it is tied to a class feature, is one of the ones that cannot be used as your free skill check in a round. Okay, in that case, can I make a bonus action deception check to make it, make it sound like I ran this way instead of that way? You could. Um, okay. Do you have the feet, the feet that lets you throw your voice? No. Okay. So yeah, give me a deception, and I will have to adjust this DC appropriately. Okay. okay. That's a pretty good deception. If only my stealth rolls were this good. All right. Just looking and... through some features real quick to see if okay. people might not. All right. Uh, these two speak up. They went over here! Uh, pointing towards the north as you're uh, calling out at your... Gonna make the sounds of Footsteps crunching upon grass. It's a little weird, a little hard to do, but you think you managed it. You convinced two of them, at least. Um, this one down here looks a little confused. Um, this one here... They're tricking you! They're behind the crane! God damn. Yeah. What is your passive insight? That man... Is a bitch. It's it's more that you're trying to mimic the sound of footsteps on grass as a, you know, a person. Like you have a pretty big penalty. So what I'm getting okay. at. Yeah. Uh, all right, that's fine. If you had a ventriloquism, you're also trying to throw your voice, which is why it's pretty big. If you had ventriloquism, the DC uh, the penalty would only be a minus five. Mm -hmm. But uh, you know, penalties. Anyways, yeah, well... uh. One of them, which had a pretty high insight, was able to figure it out. The rest were like, oh, I totally fell for it. Um, but, unfortunately, there was one who noticed, and uh, Garridan. Your mind uh, link has hey. been updated. Uh, mind link, do you want us to try and move now? Do you want us to try and act now, or do you want us to um, wait for a signal? Or, like, basically wait for you to signal us over the mind link that we should play along. Probably give it one more round, but I also okay. want I also want Wary to start the actual distraction. That's fine. Well, uh, I have a distraction <laughs> incoming with this building being set on fire. I don't mm -hmm. think we need to show our hand with Wary just yet. Yeah, I'm pr I'm pretty sure well, Wary's distraction of I cast punch doesn't really work. I mean, that it's well more. Of, it, I mean, it's more if I'm surrounded, it can't get away. Basically. All right, well, um, then I will suffice my turn by taking the um, uh, dodge action. Excellent. All right, Ragnar's gonna just now keep on keeping on. All right, this guy has regained his reaction, and hearing the words of his master, uh, he's going to look outwards. Going to roll up that there perception. And he is going to roll a d6. Okay. So he knows you're behind the crane. 
And let's see here. One, two, three, four. Okay, so he's going to run this way. And he will dash over to here. Give me a look around. I can't see them. Of course you can't. They're bloody invisible. And this guy is take his turn, and he will also give a perception check. And he will also roll 86. <laughs> He's going to run down to here. And he will swing out at uh, this square. He doesn't. He doesn't have anyone. Okay. Lunara. No sorry return. Begin to feel a certain heat emanating from beyond the door that you have closed. Where the hell am I? There. Oh, okay, that's right. I'm not on the main map. Mm -hmm. feeling when you were hoping for smoke, but get actual flame. It's hoping for flame the second time around. That's 40 feet. How do I want to play this? Wait, where was I? You were there. I just thought of something I should have done last time that would have made this more convincing, but mm -hmm. I don't want a meta asking to do it just because I thought of it now. <sighs> so, what is your plan? Uh. You know what? I'm going to attempt to stealth out. Oh god damn it, I can't do that either. Holy oh, my fucking god, I should have done that last turn. Okay, hold on. You can get to the door, and you bonus action hide, and then you can use your action to dash, which will allow you to stealth out the door. Yeah, but that's... But I need to speak, and that, therefore, is going to break the stealth. I mean, generally, yeah. Okay, I guess what I can do... ...is... I, I can open the door... ...then... I can open the door, then speak, then bonus action hide. I'm just not getting further than the doorway. Well, I can take an action to move again, right? Yeah. Alright. Alright. So that's my first action. I'm going to open the door. And the Nara's going to yell in her best... The, the grumpy older gentleman impression. A fire! The, the building's on fire! And then she is gonna bonus action hide. Alright. Give me a persuasion. She's gonna move. Persuade you to know that the building is on fire. Wouldn't it be 
Actually, yeah, it wouldn't be deception. The building's on the building fire. On fire. <laughs> it's not a deception. Like, it shouldn't be deception. Well, actually, no, the building is on fire. Yeah, no, she uh, said I it. Think, I don't think I get any bonuses on this. Well, that, that, yeah. that. It was, it was more for people to hear it over the commotion going on. Some people might still hear it just due to the distance, but that was the real purpose of the persuasion. All right. Excuse me, Mr. DM. Can yeah. I have advantage on the check because the building is in fact on fire? <laughs> um, do you want me to make a stealth check? Yes, make a stealth check. Oh, there's your hot roll. All right. Well, you disappear well, from sight, sound, smell. You don't. You just morph into the void, as it were, as you slip out from the doorway, calling out fire before you do so. But uh, not sure if anyone heard you. You know what? That's probably the the more important role, anyway. To be honest. I mean, yeah, it definitely is. It's just not much of a distraction if no one notices it. All right. Uh, Look, this man I'm, here. I am, ba I am banking on the wary distraction at this point of, holy fuck, there's a snake. Right, but we were trying not to use that distraction. Right. At this point, we most, might have to. Let's use the ro most recognizable party member as a distraction of, He's oh, there's a snake. Dash to here. Yeah. I s that shimmering field, I think that's them. Hang out by the uh, counter to wait. Wary. Someone yells, Are you sure that's not the heat waves from the fire? <laughs> That'd be pretty freaking big heat waves. Can you guys are fucking commoners. Their, their intelligence isn't that high. They haven't noticed the fire yet. Alright. Uh, Wary, move closer for plan B. Uh, hold on. Wary doesn't know where you are. Where he did pop up before, and they knew that they were over here. They don't know that they're here now, but they did, yeah. uh... Yeah. They do hear, like... They do hear people saying that I'm near the crane, right? The counterweight? I mean... They are five feet beneath a thick amount of dirt. For them to hear that, they would true. have to roll a perception check. Um, well, that is true. But, Can I just mind link that information? Yeah. I mean, yeah. It's easy enough <laughs> yeah. to mind link. It's like... Uh, just in case you didn't hear, Wary, I'm near the counterweight. Yeah, and okay. uh, for your knowledge, you can be beneath this. This is about 10 feet off the ground. Okay. Well, I will move to there, and that is my turn, as I have to use a uh, s yeah, standard and a movement to go right. that far. Um, For your knowledge, since it has been a bit, uh, just copying these. Uh, the stamina rolls, which everyone has access to, can allow you to move faster. For the run stamina option. Yes, but I am currently sneaking as well. Fair enough. You would not be able to sneak with run. I probably should put that in the uh, disclaimer there. Anyways. No, it's know. not rules. It's written quick. Where do it? <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, that was your full turn as you slither your way through the dirt. Unknowns to anyone above. And we go to number four. He's at the barn. He's also going to give himself a perception check. Oh. Fire. Fire on the, uh, the foreman's house. A uh, bunch of people nearby would hear him. Uh, people way over here might not hear him because of the distance. Because that's, you know, 195 feet. But he's going to start rushing forward. All right, Taranaf is going to do his thing. Uh, seeming like it's game on. And he's just waiting for the call from Garrodin at this point. Uh, Cry. Cry is going to, uh, not move the entire thing. You are exceedingly quiet. Yeah. Uh, Cry is going to just kind of scooch over, closer over here to get a view of Garrodin and just kind of wait for updates. All right. You're in the same boat as the NPCs. Excellent. All right. Militia Archer 6. Hmm. I'm pretty sure they're charmed, because I don't know why I would give them a, a blue halo otherwise. Right. 
just that one be I charmed, think, though. I think I they know. were buffed or something. That's what, okay, let me, let me look at his notes. Like, I think it was like the speed buff or something. Yeah, he, he was he was given uh, some benefits from, from uh, Monsieur Zealot. Okay, there we go. Or yeah, with the whisper, I don't remember which one. But he's been buffed. Okay. Uh, anyways, it's his turn. Um, hearing the call that you're over there, he's going to just kind of plop on over there, give himself his a uh, free perception check. Does not seem to notice you, so he's just going to attack randomly. He knows you're around this area, so I'm going to roll. A D9. Pop down left, right. So an 8 will hit you. Uh -huh. No. Fires an arrow. Pew! Pew! Uh, quick question. If I go here, will anybody have line of sight, like, be able to completely see me? Uh, let me just add some BBL to the, uh, the actual device. He would... He might. He wouldn't. He would. Yeah. Because this this center thing does block line of sight, but this one is above, so it would not. All right. Uh, that is the Larcher's turn as they try to do their thing. Uh, I'm going to give them their reaction back because they would have it back. And uh, a bibip. Bibip. Okay. Is going to kind of just do their waiting thing. Holding. Waiting. Hold to sell it three. If I weren't to here, would anybody be able to see me? Depends on where they're located. For me to answer that, you would have to have some tactics checks. Because that is going to be far too much tactical information for your... Just gauging the distance. Uh, okay. Zillow, though, has gained initiative. Alright. Uh, he's smelling you out. He knows where you ran to and all that good stuff. Um... Just looking at his spells real quick. Alright. Going to move forward to here. And with his action, you'll see him begin to raise up arms in a chant, in a prayer. Looking at the actual effects of it. And as he does so, you see that his companions around him begin to move with him as he dashes forward. Let's see here, so that would be one within that position, so that'd be you, that would be okay. Whoop. Alright. And these three use their reactions to do that. Okay. Right, and that has been used, and the feature itself is just upon movement, so that one didn't was my action. And the actual spell casting, I am triggering that now by spelling the uh, spell charge. Okay. It's not going to affect you, so you're fine in that regard. Hey, and I just want to point something out to you. Uh -huh. This is the second major fire of the campaign, and both of them were set by me and not you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Which wasn't intentional. I just, I, I just happened to think about it. By the way, Sage is Badger McBadgerface. Uh, is he in this? It's his turn right now, actually. Uh, okay, I couldn't remember who he was, but you kept forgetting about him. Yes, sir. Yeah. So yes, sir. Uh, he is still doing his things, which I'm actually gonna put him in the uh place where he'd be at this point in time. And uh, it takes his turn to do that, and we'll continue from there. Cultist Whisper has gained initiative. Mmm, the spooky boy. The actual beluga. No. Alright. We'll see him move forward. 30 feet down the ramp. And from there, you see him will raise up a weird looking scepter, one that seems to be formed from gnarled wood and thickened vines. In its heart, you can see that there's what appears to be a beluga scale. So the, uh, the scepter's uh, focus, essentially. 
Um, and he's going to use this here staff to cast his spells. I'm sure that's fine. Looking at the distance of the spell. Copy. Probably should put it in. It's one of my custom spells, that's why I'm, I can't find it on the Cast Google. Fireball, why don't you? Smile. Why? No, I, I'm thinking it's Fairy Fire or some variant of that. Uh, yeah. Let's see. It probably uh, no, it, he's casting a custom spell. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's why I said some variant of that. Probably... It's Fairy Fireball. Nope, can't do that spell. Its range is 30 feet. Okay. Yeah, no that problem. would be terrible. I bet this spell is long range. Yeah. Pretty sure it's 120 feet. It is. Yes, it is. Oh, yeah. I bet he has. All right. So here's a question. Does he have blind sense or life sense? 120 feet. <laughs> no. I mean, let me, I'm going to go check him again, but... <laughs> no. All right. Uh, all right. Seeing you there and his companions pointing you out with his passive plus that being happening, he, he knows you're there. Uh, and he is going to cast a spell as from his outstretched hand, he hurls... An undulating, warbling mass of chaotic energy in your direction. Okay. All right, and I have a plus eight on spell attacks. Does he have disadvantage? He does not see you, so he does have disadvantage. Okay. All right, 16 to hit. Is just enough. God damn it. All right. Because I am throwing a spell, and you do have cover from this guy, uh, I have to roll a d2 to see if I hit him or you. Because okay. he is not caring wait, about his companion. Wait, if I have cover, if I have cover, that misses. He is not caring that his companion is providing cover. Oh. Uh, so I'm, okay. I have a chance of hitting him if I hit it on the money. Okay. Since I miss because of cover, essentially I'm either hitting you or the, the, the companion. So it's a... Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, he, you are not the one hit as one is left right. Coltazella is slammed by the Chaos Bolt and is slapped for uh, 2d8 plus 1d6 damage. All right. And the first d8 determines the damage type. And the second d8, and then the d6. All right. As this buddy suffers seven psychic, as his mind is racked with pain, three fire, as you see his hair lights a flame, and then six damage is weird energies begin popping around him. All right, sixteen damage. So, uh, guys, I think we found our actual monster. Uh, do they seem to uh, give a shit? No, uh, not yet. Oh, right. I'm, I'm gonna look at the soldier, like, you know, see the friendly fire, see if they actually care. The soldiers look a little like, what What, what are you doing? Uh, the cultist doesn't seem to give a shit, um, but these the militia soldiers do seem to be a little uh, Yeah, wary. they're a bit. Yeah, I'm with them. Okay, scratch that, the militia does seem to care a bit. The cultists, of course, don't care. The cultists oh, aren't God, people. I would love for someone to give a shit. Alright, and the whisperer at this point... Uh, I do have a bonus action remaining, but we are going to keep it available for now. Unless it's Soldier 3. Alright, uh... Having you being pointed out, he is going to rush forward. Alright. Now, I'm pretty sure these guys are mooks. Nope, they are elites, so I will have them spend the stamina in this case. So he is able to reach you, slam into your, uh, slam into you with his weapon as he swings his flange mace in your general direction. He does, does have disadvantage, but he does get to actually move an attack. Okay. Because he's using the, uh, the charge sprint. I see. Hmm. All right. And I just need to mark how many stamina points he has left because that costs me two. There we go. Okay. Here is a flange mace attack. It's a good thing I had disadvantage. 19 to hit for yeah. a 9 bludgeoning. Okay, 9 bludgeoning. Yep. And then... And then a DC 10 concentra concentration check. Or wait. Who's got the symbol on him? Yep. It 
It, okay, it was you. Can I get a reroll on the... Actually, hold on. I'm going to spend Destiny on that. Spending Destiny, alright. Destiny is 1d6? Is a d6. And that's your oh. second use for the day, but you do manage to maintain concentration on your misability. As blood seems to slatter upon the ground, but not blocking or, or revealing your invisibility. Hmm. I got them! They're here! Alright. And uh, just making sure I get these guys that yeah. feature. Mm -hmm. I'm making sure I didn't give them a, uh, a, a multi-attack. I did not. Cool. Okay. Uh, that's his go. We go on to top of the round. Alright. I... Since I'm invisible, would he have an attack opportunity on me? No. The only one who currently has attack opportunity on you would be the Zealot. Uh, if he had a reach weapon, which he does not. Okay. Uh, I am going to spend some stamina. Which, half of my constitution score is 7, plus my proficiency is 10, so I have 10 total stamina. I'll just put this here, actually. Yeah, the updated sheets have uh, stamina listed on them. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to spend a 2 to just run. And I will roll 1d4 times 5. Mm -hmm. 15. Okay, that gives me 50 feet of movement. The 15 extra feet of movement. Can I actually just reach the door here? This door is now open, right? That door is open, yes. Hmm. Can, can I use stamina twice in one round? Depends on the feature. Uh, for run. Like, basically, if I move, if, double move, can, if you can I roll that If you dashed twice? action, you could use another stamina. Okay. Essentially, it is once per triggering action, unless otherwise stated, because the uh, charge feature does allow you to use uh, bash or strike as part of the charge. Okay. Should I go outside or should I go into the building? Let's just group sync. I think that there is a few question. I think there's about to be a bunch of people running into the building as it's on fire, so you might end up a, like unknowingly knocking into a bunch of people. These are definitely difficult terrain. Mm -hmm. What this be difficult terrain? Um these spots here would be. The rest are uh, not enough coverage to be difficult. So these, and then just anything that's got 50% or more of that wood would be difficult. Is this... Okay, so that's this above. counterweight... That's above. So I could just run past. Yeah, it's 10 feet above you. Mm -hmm. Right now I'm looking for a good place to undo my invisibility so I can make our, uh, make our claim potent. Also, to get some cover from the spellcaster. Uh, so I do have 45 on this movement. Mm -hmm. Alright. Oh, hold on. Let's make this movement first. 45. And then... You know what? I will actually... I will actually double move here. Alright, action dash. And I, will, and I will use stamina again. Mm hmm. That's less another good. 10 feet. You have 40 feet total. Yep. Mm. 
to make sure to space bar at the doorway. Maybe I go here, actually. But now that looks like everyone said it. Alright, I will do this. Alright. And then I will... Actually, before I do that, uh, can I make a tactics check on this Cultist Whisperer? Yes, you can. Okay. Yeah, that's no He's something. You're not okay. really sure. And I will let the party know that I've gone into the first floor of the burning building briefly. I'm going to attempt to emerge as Oswin Terran. Very good, very good. All right. We'll pass that on, obviously. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Garrett in. All right. So, um, quick mind link question: Do they want me to still hold position or try to um, <laughs> try, try to, to rile them? In? Try to rile them up and tell them, "Hey, isn't that a building on fire?" And then try to, is my would be my suggestion, but. So you All have right. heard one person from inside the compound shouting fire. Which means that those around you have likely also heard this. Um, what are the what are these people both on the wall and around us seem to be doing right now? Those on the wall are still watching you, but they're also like very distracted because they keep looking towards the fire. They do see people moving towards the fire as these commoners, and they're not an initiative to save on time. They are beginning to move that way. Uh, these do seem to be one. These um, ones here seem to be interested, so. You would know that, but I would. Uh, and the ones down here seem to be looking towards the, uh, the nearby river and some buckets. Um, those who are guarding you, they are likewise also somewhat distracted. However, the zealots are not as distracted. Uh, is the vi is the smoke visible? At this point in time, as you look over at the building, uh, it's a little hard to see just through the dark nature of this forest, but you can see the black smoke rising. Yeah, yeah, with is the Is the smoke... Dip, um, uh, uh, can you smell it? I mean, if you're close enough, yeah. It hasn't really had time to waft around. It's been like well, it's 12 seconds since it's gone smoky. Well, no, it was smoky for quite a while while Ayn was walking around that building. It's it only been 12 seconds since I went out of the house, but... I let the pro the smoke proper build up in there before I open the door. Yeah, what I'm saying is Garrodin cannot smell it from, you know, the corner of Sophie that he is from it. In fairness, they probably can smell smoke as there were fires going before you started the yeah. big fire. I mean, they definitely can smell this chimney smoke. What she's referring to would be the smoke that, you know, was the bedding. So it's, it's a different smell, but they wouldn't smell that. I, don't, I, I can't smell, so I don't know that... Fair enough. <laughs> I would smell it, the smoke because they're, you know, literally beneath Inside the there. room of it. Yeah. But well, look. My my point was, um, I would tell Garrodin he could probably give an order to Atticus and Sullivan to freak out and, like, say that they're scared of fire. Because if they can reasonably smell the fire, or if the, the, the guys are stupid enough to think that these creatures that they've never seen before might be able to, then that would probably cause a bit of a distraction. I'm pretty sure if I do that, though, their answer won't be to, you know, no, go try to kill without the fire. Atticus It'll be to them. try to kill Atticus and Sullivan. In which case, you like, kill them. <laughs> I, I think what I'm going to do now is wait. For the fire to catch a little bit because really it's only been a few seconds mm -hmm. and they already kind of suspect that we went here to uh burn it down so me knowing about the fire instantly before it happened like 
like as it happens yeah. is a little weird. Mm -hmm. That's fair. Alright. What would you like to do, uh, Garrett? So I'm I'm going to continue taking the uh uh dodge action. Very good, very good. Um but I will I'll kind of let my eyes gaze to the smoke. Alright. Like, you know, half Just and half. Like a, a little glance, essentially. Yeah. Okay. Very good, very good. In case combat starts, do you want to pull Sophia back to you? I think I can just do that. Like a, actually, that's not a. I'm that's pretty not sure. A bad idea, but it's not worth. It's not worth getting them to start attacking us and essentially splitting mm -hmm. the party without needing to. Yeah, I'm also it's pretty sure. Be pretty obvious if I do. Yeah, it would be. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure popping him out is an action though. So. I don't know what it is. Um, I'm actually looking that up right now. Mm -hmm. Well, while well, you look that up, Aragna's gonna just keep waiting for the, uh, the signal. And we go to Militia Soldier 7. Um, they are going to roll a perception check. It is an action. Yeah. Uh, they have no idea which way you ran. So, uh, they're gonna roll a d8. Ah, cats! I don't know where they went! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... He's gonna just kind of run this way, and then he's gonna use his action to look around it. Wait a sec. As he runs past, he you hear him kind of like half hardly turn, kind of skidding against the dirt here, and then going to a full stop at this point as he turns over his shoulder and points out towards the house. The ran inside. I mean, you haven't changed your stealth, so it's still a 10, unfortunately. I mean, yeah, because it's almost like being a spy without a rogue level with a yeah. pain, yes. Yeah, I mean, you're also f actively running, like, not just dashing, but yeah, running, I mean, running, so it's not that quiet. That is fair. So, uh, that is yeah. fair. Hey, that's all you can do, it, though. Look, if all of them come in here, I'm fireballing at that's, this point. That's fair. All right, this guy here is going to just uh, awesome. rush forward, and uh, he is going to just give himself a little... Little. Oh, I need to give him his free skill check. Yeah, okay. And he's gonna do a little doop doop boop boop. He rushes on in and he's gonna swing on at you. He spends some stamina. Okay. Seventeen to hit for nine. A disadvantage uh, though. Disadvantage. Yeah. Seventeen to hit for nine. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, okay. For fuck's sake. All right. And that is his slamming and jamming. Uh, he does have bonus action, but he doesn't want to use it against you. So uh, that's that's all he's going to do. Lunara. All right. and... From your position, uh, you are essentially like right there on the main map. You can see that the... Uh, oh, for fuck's sake! Uh, once again. Can I borrow inspiration? Smile. Yes, Fuck. you may. Okay. okay. <laughs> see about that. Invisibly coming back up. Uh, you can see that the common folk down below are actively moving forwards towards the stairs. Uh, just not like like they're going to climb up, but some seem to be heading to the front door, and then seeing people rushing in with weapons drawn, they kind of back up. Yeah. Um, but they're looking a little panicked, a little curious, unsure if they should help or not. The ones back here, you can see they're All actually right. moving to the river, uh, Lunara. All right. So Barry, I'm being attacked in the house. Anyways. Can you uh, restrain this person, please? <laughs> What'd you say? Uh, you're, for your knowledge, Lara, you know that the common folk closest to you, they're actively looking at the house, but they are panicking a little bit because of the combat going on right here. Unsure if they should help with the fire, unsure if they should just leave a bee towards the combat going on, if they should help the combat. Uh, they're, they're a little unsure what to do. Those furthest away, near the tree, are actively heading towards the river, uh, picking up buckets of water, and looks like they're heading to the, uh, the fire. Uh, those guards currently are trying to apprehend, find at least the ones that you can see, which would be just the back two here. Alright, uh... Um, you can also see over the fence, uh, those who are on the wall are actually looking in your general direction, uh, but they're also, like, they're they're definitely distracted because they're looking at your party down below, but they're also looking at the fire, or at least the, you know, potential there. Um, the two zealots down below next to your party with Garrett and whatnot, uh, they're more focused on Garrett and whatnot. Uh, all the other guards do with the party are... Definitely distracted. 
Um, like, is the fire now becoming obvious? Uh, next round, it will become pretty obvious. It's just right now, it's Already. still just black smoke and their past perceptions. The archers, specifically, uh, seem to be noticing it. Okay. Yeah. So that's what well, you know, you know do, I can't get to you. Pull it. I would say pull attention somehow, but at this point, I, I'm going to plan snake in the box. I just need to be able to decloak without making it super obvious that I transformed into that, uh, into whatever his name is. Osvin Tarn. Osvin Tarn, yeah. Which is a pain. Yeah, it's because I can't get these people off of me, <laughs> but you know. Stamina system is annoying, <laughs> but it's also allowed me to change, to change my position. Yeah. Yeah. I don't uh, give it to mooks, but elites plus will have it, so. Yeah. So the archers won't have it, but the uh, soldiers apparently made them elites, which is interesting. Question mark? Yeah, normally I make uh, the archers and the soldiers, unless they're like special title, the same rank. So it's a little yeah. bit made them slightly different. Must have had a different... uh. Exit for the soldiers. Oh well. Okay. Anyways, what do you want to do, Lunara? You know what I want to do, but I don't think it's particularly helpful, and I honestly don't think Lunara cares. Where am I on the world map? Like, here? You would be right there. Alright. Yeah, there's no way I'm getting to that building. Um... I'm checking my items. It's not a lot I can think to do to cause a distraction, so we're gonna go with this. These guys, uh, to my memory, worship Marathis, right? They're, they're part of his cult? Yes. Alright, he is going... Double move to the bottom of the stairs and break her damn stealth like an idiot. Still, still in disguise as one of the old men, though not breaking mm -hmm. that. And and go. I, that, we we need to run. Mathis wants his fa his followers alive. It, it, it's just a building. And I'm trying to convince the ones that we want to keep alive to flee. Alright. Um, I definitely want persuasion. I'm just determining if I'm going to give you a modifier to it. So you can roll while I go look at some features that I gave you. Okay. Let's see here. Where is your mask? Here it is. No, it wasn't your mask. It was your, your custom feature. That's what it was. These four common folk here were already pretty pretty on the fence of if they were going to help or if they're going to not. Uh, hearing your words, they start nodding. Yeah, that, that, that makes sense. Yeah, let's 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 go. Yeah, yeah. We should get the towers help. They they would know what to do. Yeah, yeah. No, let, let's 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 leave. I'm I'm good. Let's go. Well, that's four people safe, and 
I'm kind of hoping, like, maybe they'll take the other people getting water, like, out of the combat area. And that did not actually really help at all, but... I don't know what else to do, so... Mm -hmm. That's on. fine, that actually kind of uh, works with what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Alright, well, that's me. Don't feel bad, my entire possible plan is to pop up and offer the guard sandwiches. <laughs> Alright, uh, where are you? you would feel some movement from above as this guy is running past. And, uh, he's just gonna use stamina. Oh, for fuck's sake. Stop. Ru he's running. He's not getting mobile attack, but he is running inside the building. Yeah, no, that's that's what I didn't want them to do. 20 plus 4. He does notice you. And as he runs, Eddie will hear him call out, we need the workers to put out this fire! Seems like it's coming from above! As you can see, it's kind of smoke seeping in from the ceiling. Where are we? I will uh, move to here, and that's my turn. It is painful moving so slow. It's so painful. <laughs> Which is funny because so you're used to uh, going fast. you are like the speediest I'm... snake, and then in burrowing, you're like, loop. <laughs> <laughs> that's so sad. I, I mean, you do have stamina technically. Mm. Yes, but using it wouldn't do much in this situation, yeah. really. I mean. Mm. It, it, it'll make it a little less painful, but it's still mm -hmm. painful. <laughs> yep. All right. From there, we go to number four. Number four is going to rush forward to here. I uh, sing the lot who are being talked to by another one of the lot. And hearing the call from the guy up top, uh, he's going to try to convince them to do the thing. So I need you, Lunara, to roll me a persuasion chest. And this guy's going to roll his own persuasion test with his plus zero. Why, you lot! Got some buckets put up the fire up top! We'll handle the, uh. intruders. As he says this, I he's like, You lot! <laughs> <laughs> that was a bug in my mouth! Oh. Oh. I should put up my bandana. He puts up his bandana. Alright, that's. that's He's gonna. He seems like he, he thought that they did it properly, because, you know, uh, you know, it's fine. He's gonna just dash forward. He did his job. Got an A, and by an A, I mean a C for effort. Uh, Taranaf is going to continue waiting for the signal. Cry. Cool. Uh, Cry is going to lean back and look at Cultist Zilla 1. Uh, I'm going to try to subtle spell a suggestion. So using the uh, supplementary rules? Uh, yeah. okay. Oh, give me that concentration. Is it a check or a saving throw? Concentration saving throw. Which is a constitution saving throw. The DC is 15. I'm going to use my slave destiny of the day. Very good, very good. So, that succeeds, and now stealth. Now you need a... Slide of hand or stealth. All right. So, as you cast this, um, since you are in cover, you are able to, you know, stealth from people who are not particularly paying attention. Uh, these guys just fail. They're the passive doesn't beat it. The zealot here would succeed, but he is you're, you're pretty, pretty pretty blocked. However. As you go to cast it, what is your suggestion? This guy looks like he might notice. Uh, my suggestion is going to be... Uh, so, since he's not hearing me say the words, could I make it seem like he's thinking of the actions to do? What do you mean? Uh, phrasing it in a way like... I should round up everybody and help put out the fire.
I mean, you could phrase it in such a way for flavor. Um, it might be beneficial if he fails to save, but if he succeeds, he will know that you're the one who did it. Because he did beat your pass your uh, your uh, stealth. If he fails, he's gonna go put out the fire. So I mean, basically, it's it's a uh, you know, good or bad. But uh, so your suggestion is for him to, in his mind, that he is thinking that he is the one suggesting it to put out the fire. Yes. Okay. What's your DC? That moment when the spell goes horribly wrong and he starts making you put out the fire. <laughs> DC 15, all right. Just seeing if he has any benefits against... I mean, that would bring Cry inside, which, which is helpful. Honestly, that should get all of us inside, because, I mean, we're we're hands, we're capable. We can work with this. Okay. Oh, okay. Of course. He looks out towards you, hearing words enter into his mind, and sees a figure peeking out from beneath the folds of the tarp that overhangs your wagon. <sighs> all right. Anything else? Probably not gonna be good. Uh, Cry is gonna turn to Garridan. Yeah, I don't think my spell took hold. And uh, I, I think I don't have any bonus actions I can really do. All right. And there we go to Militia Archer 6. Hey, look. Reaction used. I have regained my reaction. It's going to move on forward to here. And he's going to roll a perception check. Does not know where you're at, but he knows that you're in the building. So he's just going to uh, look around a little bit. And... There's a lovely window here for you to break. He doesn't know the window. He just he doesn't know where you're at inside the building. He rolled an eight. He wasn't going to shoot you if he did succeed. He would have been fine shooting the arrow. Um, so instead, he's just going to dash southwards. To there. Okay. Let's well, a soldier too. I'm going to toggle him hold because he is not acting in this round because he is unaware of the fact that this guy was spellcasted. Beep beep is still waiting for the signal. Well, to sell at three. Move to here. And. Can he actually see me through the window? He cannot see you through the window from his current position now. No, never. I don't have my that. I don't have that, but I do have a spell school. Alright. And he's just going to dash. To there. Mr. Archer 3. It's going to also toggle him hold. Yasker is going to do their thing. I'll take their turn in a second. Militia Archer 2 is going to do their thing, toggling them hold. Mr. Soldier 1 is going to toggle them hold because they are unaware. Whisper, however, has gained initiative. They're going to move forward to there. And I think he's just going to dash. Yeah, I think he's just going to dash. Okay. Yep. Can't see you, so. Well, looks like I'm de this round no matter what. Let's just Soldier 3 is going to move forward. And hey, look, I have enough movement to uh do my, my combo wombo. Uh, That's a horrible right, miss. Yep. Thank God. Damn it, used. Okay. I. It is your turn. Alright. All right. 
Well, can I use a deception instead to de stealth? Uh, to transform. Mm. How would you do so? I would transform my voice first, and basically I am going to uh, start acting right away. Like, basically I'm going to say, I'm go going to appear indignant, angry, just about however I would imagine a man who is known for his sadism and cruelty in the barony to react if he's being attacked by uh, common folk. You can do so. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, can you give me one moment to type it up properly? Okay, no worries. In the meantime, hey, look at that. Shit's going down, yo. <laughs> I mean, technically in a roundabout way, it might have been. No, he's destroyed. It's true. But this quest, this, here. this uh, mission, this whole campaign is because of the events of his campaign. Well, you know what? We died for our hubris. <laughs> like, it says something, and I hold to this still to this day, that that campaign was a little cursed because one of the characters was literally unable to be killed and he died in the first session. Yeah. I yeah. mean, that character was a little cursed because a lot of people didn't care and there was a lot of infighting. But no, literally in the first session. No, I know, but I'm saying it, it didn't help that, like, Josh and whoever else was in it didn't take it seriously, and that kind of derailed things, and... I mean, I, I wouldn't say they weren't taking it seriously, at least not all the way. I mean, by the midpoint, it was literally just, like, you know, frustration because they kept dying while doing things that they were supposed to be good at, and the dice just did bad things to them. Right, but then they made characters that they absolutely knew the party would hate and tried to integrate them and do stupid stuff that the party would hate to kind of tear it apart. Oh, there there were a lot of there were a lot of off the rails there, it's fair to say. Hmm. Anyway, whose turn is it? What's going on? I'm thinking of... They're typing up this. their uh, their deception. Yeah. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Which, by the way, there will be modifiers to your deception. Yeah. It's mostly to sell the shape changing. Mm -hmm. Because I... Actually, could I... Could I make it so that only one person can see me? Are any of these doors open? No. Right. And people are literally right outside, so... Could oh, just this is... hide under the table. Yeah, but... that That's not very helpful at this point. And I, I need people to be able to act.
Meanwhile, these four are ready to run. Speaking of which, oh, yeah. top of the round. I have a move. I feel like we have somehow engaged this entire camp without actually engaging the middle. Yeah, it's been a really weird, uh, really weird couple of sessions for this encounter. All right, look, you made a horrifying horse tree beast that we weren't prepared for, right? I mean, you didn't even know what it was until last session. I know, but but I'm saying shit's weird all around. Yeah, yeah, and it changed a lot of things. <laughs> it did. I mean, originally your plan was to just, you know, figure out some stuff out and then kind of walked in big dick swinging and just insulted them uh, constantly. Listen, all I'm saying is, worst uh, case scenario, we could have beat up an old man. Yep. Alright, you know, quick check on the terminology. Or an old woman. Uh, quick check on the terminology. Does the, uh, is what the barony does on a purge of, like, a cult an inquisition? Or do they use a different term for that? I have lore's relevant to it. What do you mean? Uh, like, what would they actually call, like, say, ordering, like, an entire crackdown or, like, wipeout of, like, say, a town or city type of deal? Depends Is on actually... what they would say. They would normally call them insurrectionists. Uh, uh if well, they no, are... Like the, the act itself, like... Purification. Uh, purge. Purification, purge, purge purification. um... Yeah. Purification is probably the, the better term. A cleansing is also another good term that they would use. Okay. Well, good is relative, but you know. Another term they would use. This town is going through rebirth. Fire mm -hmm. purifies all things. No, wait, I didn't set that. What's the town's name again? I'm sorry, I forgot. The town that you are <laughs> in, or the town we are in, Duskwitch. Hmm. All right. Uh... Alright. Well. Uh... Yeah, this isn't going to get much better. Okay. I will um, polymorph. I will polymorph into Oswin, uh, Oswin Tyne. Tarn. And s say the following was his voice. Don't fail me now. Well, that's about as good as I can get. Nice. I had the uh, strong urge to speak in his voice, but also speak in a, in a not his voice, just for, for community effect. I did not do that. Sure. But I, I almost did it. I was going to be like, you idiots! But no. No. <laughs> Anyways, I don't know actually what know what his... is that actually what he sounds no, like? No, no. It would be what funny if it he was. Sound like? I, I was going to say he he sounds like the don't the the kid that's like. Don't you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. It would be funny though if <laughs> I forget that voice. Got buttons. Mm, no, his voice would be, "You idiots! You dare to strike me! I must Ventan, advisor to the Baron, here to." I don't really know what that word's supposed to be, so 
Uh, I was going to say sample. Okay, I see. But you know, that, that would be his voice. Yeah, it's, uh, no, I threw that in there because from the lore, I know that he's not the most benevolent, like, he no. wouldn't cut us up the mission like this to actually help people. He's here because, ooh, study material, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So, but he's, but he's trying to, because he's, you know, being hit. Yeah. All right, uh, very good, very good. You let out your deception as you reveal yourself from your obscurement. Um, mm -hmm. these three seem to kind of recoil a bit looking horrified upon seeing Osvin Tarn. Uh, no one else currently can see you, but uh, we'll see what happens from there. I also need you to roll me Intimidation. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, I think I have that too. Well, oh, you know what? MZs. You know what? I'm going to make use of the Oracle Flame Touch feature to do like the best impression of the mage, like literally fire in his hands. Very nice. While in a burning building. Yeah. Get that good good. Anything else? If I do bonus weapon, spiritual weapon, can can I make it a different form than my usual fox? Hmm. Because it technically it says I can choose. You can make the form. form what you want. Yeah. In that case, I will make. What is the symbol? Uh, symbol. Do what I know. What? No. You would not. Well, I know uh, what this his house symbol. symbol the barony is. I mean, yeah. The you weapon of the barony is. Yeah. Let's see here. You know that the barony tends to prefer pikes. I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna go look it up just yeah. to make sure. But pikes are their preferred. Based on the picture, would I know know if he carries that staff around constantly? I mean, he does have a staff with him often. Yeah. Just from my from my lores. In that case, I will conjure it in the form of that staff, but maybe like more pike like ish, I guess, like a battle staff. Gotcha, gotcha. As a spi I will cast spiritual weapon. I will not attack with it, but yeah, I will place it. I will place it here. Alright, alright. Very good, very good. Anything else? Uh I guess I'll throw him. While they do their tippy tappies, what is your intention, Garadin? Um, now that the fire is visibly noticeable, uh, I'm gonna look up. Uh, hey, you gonna have your uh, you gonna have your uh, men take care of that, or are you uh, is your god gonna swoop in and fix it? He looks over his shoulder. They're in the process of fixing it. Oh, I forgot. You need them to protect you. Instead, you're going to let innocent people burn. <laughs> you see, I would have thought Malrathis would want his followers to be alive. Um... Mind link, mind link to Gary then. I have uh, Osman Tarn has declared a purge of the cult. Yep. All right. Oh, well, you see, that's all we need. And I'll take all my uh, officer's badge. This is a raid. Open the gates right now and submit, or we will bring the full might of the Empire down on you. The only thing saving you now from total destruction is you getting Malrathis here and going to save those people right now. Because from this instant forward, 
they are citizens of the Empire. And anyone that stops us will be ground beneath our heel. Roll me intimidation. I get advantage for having the officer's badge? You 100% do. Time to pin our war crimes on the barony. Holy shit, yep. All right. Now, for full context, normally uh, militia soldiers of the barony, um, they just, you know, automatically fail. Uh, a lot of these cultists, um, all the militia are cultists of Malrafis, so I do need to give them a roll. Wow. Four, five, six, seven. Jeez. Some of them really want to roll high. That is a... Oh, some of them are traitors to the, the traitors to the barony now. I mean, technically. And uh, obviously the zealots aren't buying it. They're they're full on cultists. They they're too far gone. Okay. But uh, the militia who have yellow who heard this, so these. Or here. Z seem to be a little panicking. So they do right. do appear to be intimidated successfully. With Men at way. arms, throw down your weapons, and we may perhaps at least spare your families. Depending on how many of your fellow citizens you rescue from these blasphemers and competence. Damn. All right. Oh, we'll get to their response on their turn, which will be soon. <laughs> Meanwhile, I still have sandwiches. All right. Uh, do I, do I, one, do I get an action? Yeah. Uh, two, does it definitely seem like this guy's hostile now? He does not look like he was at all convinced. Okay. All right. And to prove I'm not messing around... I'm gonna make them eat one of Wary's sandwiches. <laughs> well, that's a good thing. Hey, <laughs> sandwiches! Alrighty. Uh, I'm gonna make a weapon attack. Alright, that will slam on into him. Just gonna see if he has any reactions. Carry. It doesn't apply for that. I mean, it would apply, but it's not going to be enough. And I do not have the shield spell. Okay, cool. That will rush into him and slam the blade deep into his body as he suffers 15 points of damage. And then additional... Uh, four fire damage. Four fire. And he is going to get some fight in. <laughs> as his body begins to be enwrapped by green flames. Uh, 4d8 for a third level? Uh, first level is 2d8, second level is 3, uh, fourth, third is a uh, 4d8, yeah. And, um, you know what? If you don't mind me slightly retconning, I'm gonna bonus action cast a different spell. Sure. If smite. That's this 25 smite? Yep. Alright. <laughs> Instead of green fire, it is radiant light coursing through his body. Oh, it's also fire. I mean... Radiant fire coursing through his body. Um, but I'm also gonna, you know, do some actual fire. Hmm. I feel like I have a token image for Osman Tarn. Uh, let me go and grab that. Pop it down into, yeah. uh... Shoops and the Whoops. Tokens, base, NPC... Uh, Jesus Christ, dice. And oh, I rolled it. That was an S. S's, I see. All right. Take a, uh, another 10 fire damage. <laughs> As his body is engulfed in flames, crispy, he drops to the Anyone knees and into his else face. wish to test the patience of the Empire? Is it Soldiers Empire? and it's thralls theory. alike. Move in, choose your allegiance, take those who dissent alive 
except for this trash. They have earned the wrath of the Emperor's Iron Fist. All right. Dragon is gonna just look over at this guy. How's oh, so we doing this then? I'm gonna grab up her sheet because I am a banana and did not actually grab that. From also, I will mind link over the uh, things. Like, yeah, we're going full. We're going full dictator. Thank you for making me do this. <laughs> Very clearly not happy but understanding about mm -hmm. the situation all right she'll draw both her blades and in, in a reckless rage uh she is going to swing out this dude yep. because he wanted he didn't put his arms down all right uh first one takes the 22 to hit so that is 10 uh plus my rage damage of four so that is 14 damage cutting into this dude then a second one Takes the 24, so that is another uh, 13. That is 27 damage cutting into him. As he is just diced, sliced, and all around. I was trying to think of another thing that Ryan by can't. Uh, cut by her weapons, her Falcata and Spatha. Uh, he is heavily injured, heavily bleeding from the blows, but he is still standing. And uh, yeah, she's just gonna just gonna step on over to here. Militia Archer 1. Uh, he is going to look around, seemingly pretty cowed by what just happened, and... Uh, I'm going to give, not him, the Whisperer a check. Whisperer is on the field, which means his influence is active. He had a 21, or was it 22? You had a 22, okay. This was a 21. Cool, okay. For these guys, I will be having disadvantage on it. All right. This guy will lay down his weapons. I'm a, I'm a loyal soldier uh, to the Empire. No, uh, if you need anything in my eye, I'll, I'll help you shoot them. I was never part of the cult myself. Nope, nope, no, sir. Yes, yeah, uh, shoot the cult. <laughs> he changes to, uh, to maybe, per your original order, he, he does drop his weapon, though. Okay. And that's his turn. Get back to your homes so you are not tainted with the stench of these deceivers. Whoop. I look at you, everyone who questions. That man's family will be safe. All right, number four. All right, the Baron sends forth a lone servant. <laughs> Obviously a fucking liar. He's been buying time waiting for our leader, our fair patron to arrive. And he is going to draw back his arrows and shoot at you. You do. You. I don't know what this does. This man will no longer have a family. <laughs> Alright, well, now, first arrow is obviously a horrible miss, and his bonus action to shoot is, uh, obviously a horrible miss. Carrying on. Sir, you were tested, and you failed. All right. Your misplaced faith has caused your loyalty to waver. Now, and now, you face the wrath. If you are lucky. So, these ones back here, I've changed their halo to red. Just... They did not hear any of that. Uh, all the NPC, like the common folk. Uh, these ones up here are 100% going to be given the uh, the blue symbol, indicating that they are just going to flee. Uh, those who are back here, they are still undecided. Because they 100% did not hear you, and they are currently trying to set a put down the fire. Uh, these four here, or these five here, they're likely going to be also handling the fire. So Fire Brigade, I'm going to give them the green halo. Because they are not yet convinced, but they also are probably the easiest to convince. Oh, and same goes for the uh, these common folk up here. I didn't notice them. But they're still, you know, just doing their thing. Anyways, uh, that is the shoops. And we go to this guy who is going to just move on forward. Uh, let's see here. 
40 feet. They are wanting to give these guys a different halo, because they're supposed to be right as well. They're definitely uh, enemies at this point. Um, he's just going to uh, push forward into here. See that? Does he react to seeing... <laughs> um, uh, Lord, Lord Tarn! Uh, what a... What a coincidence! I'm gonna roll him a, a check real quick. Intelligence check. Yeah, it doesn't have any bonuses to this. It's just a uh, just d20. <laughs> uh, uh. Right. Oswin Tarm was just glaring at him. All right. Uh, he he spends his action not wetting himself. No, he he's, he's no. He's specifically <laughs> holding it in, using his action to hold it in. Well, okay, I rolled a one shit. He tries using his action to not wet himself. I'm so, I'm not trying to be rude. I'm just teasing you. Yeah, no, I did roll a natural one. All right, number one, the I, zealot. I, I, yeah, I'm sorry. I just, you know, I'm just teasing. Don't. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm not trying to be a bully. Uh, all oh, right, good. I'm going to make the most disgusted face and scoot and just give him the look, a like, giant look of scorn. Yep. All right, uh, let's see here. This zealot down here, he is aware of... Well, definitely shit just went real. Cry, try to cast a spell on him before that went real. But same general timeline. Uh, so he... Um... I have this feature scrolling down fervor okay so he is going to ready himself and by that I mean he's going to cast a spell <laughs> stay there won't you I need a wisdom saving throw from cry Charm if you're by chance. It is mind affecting. I'm gonna go check to see if it's considered a charm. I don't think it is though. Uh, it is considered to be. It's, it's not charm now or fear. All right. Uh, I'm pretty sure that passes though. Just look at my DC. You know that passes. So you feel your body begin to seize up, but then you shrug off the effect. <sighs> From there, he seems annoyed, and he is going to uh, draw... Better, than, his... better men than you have tried to keep me captive. He's going to charge towards us, fair enough, but after hearing that... <sighs> better men than me, I'll show you! Yeah, uh, rushes forward with his Spatha in hand. He can't actually use his action to reveal you, because you're still technically obscured by the uh, the tarp above the uh, thing, but he's going for you now. Oh. I would recommend you don't antagonize the degenerates. They might piss on you. And I don't <laughs> like my servants piss on. <laughs> hey, you forget, I, he was an officer in this army. Yeah. Yeah. He knows how this yeah. shit works. Yeah. Yeah. Can't play giving you inspiration for that or not. That was really good. His whole yeah. RP's been really, yeah. really good. Yeah. His, his RP's been solid throughout Sh most of this. Sean's been holding it in this entire time. He has. <laughs> yeah, take take inspiration for I that. I like that guard. Yeah. Alright, uh, this one here, Militia 6, uh, he is... He obviously noticed that. Um, I'm gonna give him a check. Doesn't piss himself, but uh, he does take a step back, provoking. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, uh, Lord Tarn. Um, didn't realize you were here for uh, an inspection. Indeed. So I was. And you attacked me! <laughs> that, 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 that was you? Alright, that's all you can do. Lunara! <laughs> Would I have heard Garadin's whole thing? Especially because I'm mind linked? Not from I mind link, no. 
would you would you have would she have heard heard Ein's? Yes. I think I've declared a purge. In the yeah. name you of would have heard fire. Ein's uh speech, yes. Okay. What what is what what does a purge mean? What is it you want me to do for the sake of Kill all the cultists, basically. At, as in like the zealots. So, so out of curiosity, would I have heard it? I am five feet beneath the ground through a wall. I, I also mind linked it to okay. you. It was mind linked to to <laughs> Lunara, and they mind linked in others, assumedly. So. Unless said otherwise, just assume if you are in the mind link, the information goes to you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I will state if it doesn't. Gotcha. All right. What's Lunara's movement speed? Forty. Ah, uh, yeah, you're gonna be out of range of him. But if we can dump truck that whisperer. We remove a big piece of them just laying down and pissing themselves off the field. Mm -hmm. Then again, we don't know what this guy does other than he's maybe a spellcaster exclusively. Let me see what I can do. Like, it might even be. Well, you got two there. You might be at the risk of getting mobbed, so just be careful. It might not be worth trying to solo him if you don't know you can one-shot him. Although I guess you can- you have Wary nearby, even though he's sort of deaf at the moment. I mean, the bonus is, uh, she, she can talk to me in my mind, so. This is true enough. A and there are bad, there, there are worse plans than putting the character that is resistant to magic next to the potential mage <laughs> what is what you like to do lunara i i don't think i can attack anyone of import this round Like, and I do think killing more NPCs before my Malrathis actually does show up is probably important to the battle, but I, I don't think taking out the malicious soldiers is particularly gonna be the most strategic move. I gotta say, it's up to you because you put yourself at risk of getting swarmed, but uh, this guy is the nexus of devotion the more of them the more of him we kill and the more zealots we kill these guys might just fucking give up i'm gonna move here and i am gonna use my psychic blade as a ranged attack all right Yeah, I guess this is the route I'm taking. Uh, uh, uh. Attack frame, okay. Uh, it would help if I impersonated myself. Anything else to that roll? I don't think a 15 will hit. Can you use your psychic dice on your attack? I'm looking that up right now. I don't think so. If I you fail an ability agree. check using a skill, no. Yeah, I feel like it would have come up way mm -hmm. sooner. Uh... Oh. Oh, well, Wary can at least bust out and charge him. Alright, well, uh, a 15 is a miss, as the Psychic Blade seems to fly 
past them and just disperses within the aether and then returns to your hand. As that occurs, those who previously thought you an old man, one of the uh, the workers here, look out towards you. And one well, claims... Well, they look like a soldier of the Empire. No, they don't. Uh, Lunara was disguised okay. as an old man, and per her feature, they appear... Yeah. They see who they want to see. They previously wanted to see another worker. Now they think that Lunara is, well, an assassin. Or, more accurately, the person that they're looking for. Why do they want to see an assassin? Well, they don't really want to see an assassin, but they want to see Lunara, which is the more accurate statement, but, you know, they're obviously trying to assassinate their leader, so... Assassin is just a I term. Mean, yeah, I get doing. you. I'm mostly teasing. Yeah. Hold, hold on, I have a counterpoint to that. The ones in red, if they are at all scared of, of who Ayn is pretending to be, and if someone is killing in a purge, that could be what they want to see is an officer of whoever the fuck. Ayn it is could also to be. be. It could also be like the Barony Spice Squad or something. They don't know that you guys are with yeah. Tarn. Yeah. This group does not know anything about what Sean did. They only see Tarn, who happens to be here for some reason. So you are considered separate from Tarn's group from these guys' mind at this point in time. Fine. Uh, if, if I know that, do I know that? No. So basically, they, they see you throw a dagger, and then they're like, oh, there's the person we're looking for. So you're no so longer considered I, stealth, disguise, etc. So they think she's I she's she's what I was, right? No, Cause... they think that she was one of the people okay. that she was looking for amongst your group. Oh, so right. perhaps but wary it, or or someone. But yeah. would it be would it be too meta to say that like I would be playing along with Ein's thing? I mean, you could RP that. You would just need to roll some checks and RP it. At this point in time. They see someone that they've been looking for. <laughs> Alright, what is... Uh, first off, I still have a second attack, but I'm going to wait a second. What is the guy's name? Which guy? The guy I, I'm pretending to be. Osman Tarn. Osman Tarn. I'm magic gonna... advice. Yeah, magic advice. What, what would someone do? I would ask Ayn, mind blink, there, yeah. what would someone who is subservient to him call him? Like, Master, General... What I know that from my lores? High on Overlord... What are your lores? Uh, my lores are Vazian Nobility, Vazian Underground Criminal, uh, Vazian Military, Resistance History, Yokogon Society, Divine Crisis, and Yokogon Blood Place. Uh, mainly those four. Vazian Nobility, Underworld, and Military are the most relevant here. And maybe Resistance History. I also have the Baron's Chosen and Order of the Everbloom, if either of those gotcha. would help me. Well, uh, his proper title would be Arch Magister. Um, what a subservient would call him would probably just be Master or Lord. Um, yeah. And he's known for being cruel, right? Yes. He yes. So, alright, Lunara would speak up loudly and proudly with a smile in her voice and just say <laughs> master i didn't realize you were leaving me to have all the fun out here as she looks over each target specifically probably out of turning there hmm? uh out of turning there master <laughs> something give me a deception oh, okay. Do I have any advantage here? No. Because of Ayn's... Okay. Yeah, the big thing is that you spoke it. You did not yell it. These guys are pretty far and distracted. What? I... I said I raised my voice and spoke clearly and confidently. Is that not... Yeah, I mean, they, they can hear it. It's just, it's not enough to get them advantage. I mean, they hear it. Which is why you're able to roll a deception versus these people. They didn't hear, like, if you just spoke normally, I would, you know, wouldn't be a guarantee. But, uh, you know, it's not giving you advantage. Is this worth using a destiny on? 
or do we have the party inspiration for the recap? No. Well, the recap was used. I have given Sean an inspiration. So you do have one inspiration at this point in time. You have a plus six. That's pretty good. Uh, yeah, go ahead and take it. <sighs> All right. Well, you have your psychic dice. You have. Uh, oh yeah, destiny. that's right. I'll side die that. Hey. Thank you. Okay. You have 19. 19. Anything else you want to apply to the roll before I reveal results? I don't think I can, so no. Alright. Going through the list. Dude. You could do Destiny. No, Destiny just... Oh, Destiny does that a 1d6. It has a d6. I'm, I'm not... I don't think it's needed. Uh, do you guys think it's needed with a 19? Probably not, but... You said you couldn't, and I wanted to point it out that you actually can. Yeah. All right. So not using it? No. Okay. So going through the list, because they can actively see the Whisperer, they had advantage on this roll. That one's good. Going the Archer. That one's good. And the Soldier inside. Um, they can see Tarn. They're distracted. They can see the whisper. I'm going to give them a flat roll. Though, if the whisper does things to them, that might change things. But right now, they have a flat and step advantage. Okay. None of them seem to be particularly... Uh, either aware of this fact that you're with Osmond Tarn, or that you are not who they thought you were originally. It's Unfortunately, they didn't seem to uh, see through your deception. Obviously, I would. I don't need to roll for the cult itself because, well, he doesn't care one way or the other. So the the mask doesn't help like negate the advantage at all, because they would be perhaps seeing it like they are seeing what they want to see. So that's why the deception can even just work in general. Because if you succeeded on this, those who failed would turn blue. Uh, in the Halo Wise, which you don't really know what that does just yet, fully, besides them seemingly not doing anything and just backing away from Osman Tarn. But, since it failed, no real change. Essentially, if you succeeded, it would have been an instant removal of a, of a unit on the field of battle. At least temporarily, depending on what the Whisperer does. Um, because the Whisperer is here, his influence is much stronger than it normally would be. And you'll see why soon when he gets his turn. But uh, Sky was well, correct that you did attack. you did bonus action dash. You cannot take a second attack. Oh. Yeah, Sky. I did see you were on eighty feet, so Sky was right when they pointed that out. I didn't even see them point it out. Yeah, they so. set it up right above your deception. Any which way, uh, that is your go. Unless you want to do any last little bitty. No. All right. Number eight. Number eight. Uh, sees the whisperer. It's gonna get a check. <laughs> and he's going to get a wisdom save now. Alright, he doesn't seem to instantly run, but he is now unsure what to do, and he's just going to take a step back and then dodge. Wary. Uh, to clarify, do I know that Lunero ran towards the Whisper? Um, you would not have felt any of those vibrations now. Yeah, I was more curious if she announced that in the Mind Link or not. She did not mention it. At, at this point, unless you're, um, unless you're faster, burrowing, it might just be best to just, you know, surface. Yeah, that that was my plan either way. It just determines who I'm attacking. 
You honestly... You could try my tactic. Pop up and try... You know, uh, hey, I'm another surprise soldier of Austin Tarn. Yeah, that's not I, gonna I, work very well. I, I mean, I don't think it will, but it might put the pressure on their roles. L looks at my taken. skill set. No. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm. You're muted, uh, Wanderer. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> I I was going to say it might be worth killing Sela here. Yeah. Just because, and then we can use that as like further intimidation, like yeah. as in like the Empire's done playing around. We are going to kill anybody who's associated with the cult. Yeah, I think I think that's going to be what where he ends up doing because he doesn't know about the whisper at all at this point. Uh, yeah, he's gonna he's gonna pop up and uh, move right here and uh, swing at this guy. Very good, very good. And then uh, and then we will, I would say, just say something for the empire or something. It's not a very good deception, but it's get our story, our story straight. No, well, it's, uh... he is a fool of the empire. No deception needed. True. I'm gonna rage and uh, yeah, basically yeah. say, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for the empire seems a good battle cry at this point. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, for the empire and swing down with the claymore, <laughs> which has got to be what this has got to be a terrifying thing. A cloak guy just bursts out of the ground, swings at someone. <laughs> yep, <laughs> leaving this. It's time uh, for murder. Okay. Um, gonna reckless attack anyway. Okay. Might as well. And not protect her. That's an early work. Whoa! Okay. Oh, oh, sweet Jesus! Uh, Jesus. Damn. <laughs> well, it's not quite a crit, but it's almost there as the blade does seem to dig deep into this man's chest, cutting through much of his armor and, at the very least, drawing some blood. Uh, he is heavily injured from the blow, but he is still um, alive. It might actually be a crit. Hold on. You have, uh, 1920 crits? I'm double-checking that right now. I vaguely recall it being something special to the weapon. Whenever you roll a 19 or 20, instead of a just a 20 in addition, you are brought... Oh, no, that's the, uh... Okay. Let's yeah, so here. I crit on, uh... I knew there was a 19 to 20, but it, it's on the wrong thing. Gotcha. Do you have a second attack? I do. Okay. <laughs> he will not survive the second swing. No. <laughs> so, yeah, that's that's not a crit. Almost. I thought it might Almost. Be. So close. But yeah, the uh, next uh, next attack will come through. Very good, very good. Roll up that bean footage. As with the second swing, uh, cutting oh. down through his clavicle, he sleeves to a knee before slain, blood draining from his body. Uh, five foot step back, five foot down. All right. Actually, not. Actually, ten foot there and five foot down. All right. Very good, very good. From there, we go to Militia Pikeman. Uh, he heard all of what just happened there, so he's going to have to give me a good old check of Rooney because he's just making sure. He cannot see him. He does get disadvantage. All right. Right, right. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna run. Sixty, eighty, and then he's gonna use some stamina to do the full-on run. Wait, he has stamina too? He, he is a. Oh no, he has a mook. Never mind. Pikemen are, Pike like, are mook. Pikemen and archers okay. are mooks. Soldiers are I was going to say. Like, right. Jesus Christ. That's what it was. Pikemen are the ones that are my, my basic uh, militia. <laughs> Alright. So he just runs there. Soldier number four. Um, yeah, now uh, seeing what just occurred up there. Uh, he's a little concerned. By little, I mean pretty, pretty concerned. 
But, uh, you know, he's gonna go save his Whisperer buddy. This is his cult leader. Just gonna dash to here, and by dash to here, I mean he's gonna charge. He's gonna swing at you with his flash mace. Have a mace. 18 to hit for 10. That it? Alright, that was a slam and jam upon your face as he bashes a mace into your back, and... Uh, that's, that's all he's gonna do. Taranath. Well, Taranath has got stuff to do as well, and Taranath has a bow. Taranath is gonna uh, step Tar back and then fire into the cell it. Can I, can I use a free action to say something? Sure. He is going to use a, 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 a free action basically to just laugh as if completely deranged, as if Someone who Austin Tarn would probably have under his employ. All right. The guy recoils a little bit. It's a little, little creepy. And meanwhile, over across the gate, uh, two arrows fly out towards the zealot, but both are deflected from the zealot's uh, spatha. Ting, ting. All right. Cry. They had to go get ready for work. I do have a little bit. Cool. Of time. Wait, I mean, if we have... You're heading out and Wanderers around 10, 10, 30, or which is around then, maybe just ending it at the end of this round. Do I do want to get the RP, some RP on my turn um, done, if that's possible. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. Cry is going I feel like to... we've been in this combat for like weeks. It's because we've Catherine. been playing it for like a, an hour and a half per session. No. Yeah. Uh, we need to change the day. What's that? What's I've already asked about that like two weeks ago. <laughs> But you may Maybe. take your turn to cry. We can, we can go to time slot I mean, discussion we've all after. We've sort of taken turns not being available, so I think yeah. we're going to run a bad luck. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cry is going to lean in, letting a little bit of uh, Navaris flip out, turning her mouth black. Run. Had a, had a suggestion. Command, okay. Now that's a wisdom save. That was a repulsive. <laughs> Damn. Garrett is done having any chill. All right. You see him seem to qu quiver a bit, faltering in his his hostilities towards you. Seems your spell has taken effect. Uh, can I see him, or is he blocked by? He's the blocked thing? by the. Yeah. Oh. I was going to accuse him of having syphilis. <laughs> <laughs> now we're just slandering people. Uh, then Cry will casually hop out of the wagon and point. Uh, dramatically behind her with her arm uh, yelling at the other archers on the wall. Watch as the zealot flees in terror to our might. Alright. And that's all I can really do. I'm going to have you preemptively give me a persuasion test. Keep that in mind. I am going to try to do a DC 10 uh, saving constitution to reroll you that. You really love your overexertion. Uh, I was originally built around overexertion, but then the rules got changed. Okay, cool. And yeah, now I have to go head out and get ready. Yep, do. Okay. All right. Very good, very good. Militia Archer says. Works, guy. Indeed. This Archer here. I'll look around for a second. There's a giant snake. Mm -hmm. I just shot it for the Empire. He's beneath the, the earth. Did he burrow back down? Yeah. Okay. So he's gonna, he's gonna, just gonna move down here. And he is then going to... Ah, oh, do I 
ready to shoot Wary or do I shoot Lunara right now? What's his intelligence score? He's going to shoot Lunara. So before he moves, he's going to shoot Lunara, then he's going to move. So he doesn't have to worry about cover. Pew! Does not confirm. Up shot. Pew! 16, does a 16 hit you? No. Alright, well that is two arrows just going pew pew! Alright, Militia Soldier 2. Uh, that's this buddy boo. He is the concerned on hearing all this, but he did make his check, so he's going to call it his mighty... Wait, one second. Okay, cool. I was like, did, did I have the mushroom dude in, in the initiative? But it should do. He goes directly after this guy. Uh, he's going to swing at the mushroom. Blanche Mace. Horrible miss. All right, carrying on. A bit beep. Hey, look, this is a traitor to the Empire. His family shall be hanged. <laughs> All right, Hibby Beep is going to look over towards him. His little mushroomy eyes darting this way and that is just empty voids of white. Kind of staring into the soul of the soldier, and he's just going to send him, send him packing with a bunch of kicks and punches. All right, let's see here. Here's punch that number one. On shrooms. Oh, All damn. Right. That is a slam. Here's my second monkey slap. Uh, here's my third monk slap. And, uh... uh hey, what's at this have? moment? This man knew. He fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> now we'll, we'll, just, we'll, just, we'll just use the bonus action for martial arts, not using the key. So, just the three. Alright. <laughs> that is 12 plus 14 plus 14. Did As he just, kill or did he, he knock out? He, uh, he would have knocked him out. Yeah. Okay. Beep, beep knows that these guys are not the uh, the shoops and the whoops. I did put him beneath the darkness, so I have to go do this real quick to uh, to grab him. Because I'm a banana. He has uh, gone beneath the darkness. Change two tokens. Okay. There we go. Not even magic missile can reach him now. Mm hmm. All right, that is Hibby Beep's turn. Cultisel is dead, uh, going to Militia Archer. Uh, this archer here is going to... He can see the dude, so he does get a check. It's supposed to be plus six, but that's still a fail. So he is just going to... Yep, nope, leave in this place. Yep, yep, yep. He's just going to move to there. Yasker is going to continue doing what Yasker does. to there. Militia Archer 2. The other one who gets a check. You have a 22 on your DC, so he's likewise also just gonna nope out of here. And start leaving. Militia Soldier 1. That's this buddy boo. Well, he's pretty injured and he's gonna swing out at Ragna, but he's also gonna use a bonus action to second wind himself for 11. As he seems to regain some of his vigor fighting in the name of Malrafis. And he misses horribly. He's not very vigorous, apparently. The Whisperer has gained initiative. <laughs> yes. The Baron has arrived, my children. He has arrived with the beasts that I protect you from. I and Malrafis protect you from. As he raises his arms in a pointing gesture, you see from within uh, Ayn and Lunara, beasts begin to emerge from the shadows. See there now, the minions walk among them. As he uses his bonus action to conjure the cursed. And uses his action to hide the fact that he is the one using it. So he doesn't get his action, but uh, you know. All right, and I'm going to summon two misshapen. I'm going to go grab those. They have summoning fatigue, or? Nope. I keep working on my uh, DM view instead of the player view when I'm switching the camera around, and it's... they look very similar, because I, I think I need to make the map a bit more obvious that it's on DM view. Anyways, uh, misshapen are here, copy. Going back to the cliff tide and plop plop and making visible. Gonna give them a red halo so you know that they're evil. Gonna add them to initiative. 
and give them the... Apparently I have the Oldest Whisper in here twice. That's weird. Anyways. 3.02. 3.02. And I do need to roll a check for this Whisperer, his Deception. Because obviously, you know, he's the one who did it. It'd be cool if you roll the one. Like, I'm just saying. Alright. So out of curiosity, do I believe that we summoned these things? Just Um. <laughs> it was us all along. Shit! He did yell it, so you would have gone in muffled versions of Behold, you know, like like halves of what I said, essentially. Um, it's really hard to fully hear, but you can get the gist of it from your pen, uh, premise sense. Um. The problem is, Tarn would actually be somebody who probably summons yeah, this type of shit. Yeah, yeah. That's actually believable. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, no, um, I'm just gonna uh, give these guys the red horror again. Hold on, w did Wary say would, like, Wary believe it? I mean, Wary doesn't know, but Ein can pretty swiftly in the mind links add in some of these, so I'm not too worried about yeah. Ein or Wary believing it or not. Uh, I was about to say, Wary yeah. could also just know that we have never shown this ability. It's true, but he's you've only been working with Ein for so long. Hey, he rolled a great deception. There. I rolled a 24 I mean... deception, yeah. Anyways, uh, that is my my action, my bonus action. I will move a bit closer though to uh to here. And then we go to my minions, the misshapen. All right. Are they going to start attacking these because these guys because he's trying to do the actual ruse? You know, they're beasts and all. All right. Good point. You have to sell it, right? He might, but he probably won't. I mean, what good would what he said? B if they just start All why right. would he attack his Both own misshapen will begin to launch balls of lightning from their mouths as these beams of crackling energy slam into the soldier before you, Ospin. Hmm. At least potentially I might roll really shitty. Bleh bleh. I rolled really shittily. I to see if we own Oh, these, is this they what they're doing now? So bleh, they wouldn't be bleh. silly. So they both land here instead of here. Um, yeah. So they hit the wall uh, and they explode. Everyone within the area, a 10 foot burst explosion. So you four uh, must make deck saves. Okay. I'm just going to roll a man land up. I'm going to worry about AOE spell manager for this. And this guy, because I can select him. Oh, uh, yeah. I used the wrong map, but that should be a 15. 15, gotcha. All right, all right. Well, um, two of my people make it, suffering only three damage. You also make it, suffering three damage, and my sixth buddy suffers the full seven. Oh, also, I don't have my spiritual weapon out. Yeah, I mean it's it's supposed to be beneath the the guy who's above the frightened guy. <laughs> so you, once you plop it down, you can put it there. I did that backwards. Yeah, this guy's supposed to be seven, the other guy's supposed to be three. Whoop. Not bad. There we go. And that's the misshapen's actions. It will then begin to uh, drain and, like, inhale rapidly as this weird necrotic energy begins to form around you, uh, Ayn. Con save. Twice. Can they see me? I mean... Yeah, you're not invisible. No, I mean, can't, do they have line of sight to me? Yes. Isn't this a wall? You're right there. Yeah. They're right here. here. Oh, you! I saw it was coming from the Whisperer. No, 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 that's misshapen. Yeah, um, that's the first one. And here's the second one. The two con saves. First one, you suffer necrotic damage equal to con score, and necrotic damage equal to con score. Ouch. Hi. Which, what is your con score? Uh, 14. 14. Okay, so this both gain 28 temp HP. Yep. Ow. 
I suddenly realize I do not want to be hit by those things. Yep. All right, and then I'm going to mark them as having used that ability because it is a recharge. Because we're going to be ending probably soon off the top of the round, which is going to happen really quickly, so. Yeah. Uh, life drain, down, copy, going to go to the other one, Damn life drain, down, copy. So I want to hit the whisper. All right, this guy here, uh, he sees monsters. He's going to roll a wisdom save. Yeah, no, uh, he is going to, uh, just, just gonna, just gonna leave. Play, uh, screaming oh. monsters as he does so. He does provoke. Probably the, probably the thing to do, to be honest. I'm not attacking him, okay. obviously. Forty to there, and then he's going to move to there, and then he's going to run with, a uh, four times five, with an additional ten. All right. As those at the front gate begin hearing this man screaming, monsters, monsters. Top of the round, uh, you wanted to say something before we ended the session, Ayn? I was going to say this, but it's kind of changed. But I'll say it anyway. I'll say it, but modify it slightly. Okay. Uh, this was originally what I typed up. Because I was going to just sort of try to get them to either run away or, you know, get out of my way. Mm -hmm. And then, hold on. I'm going to, even though it's not the correct image, I am going to get the spiritual weapon. Even though it's not the yeah, correct yeah. image. Hmm. Sorry, it's... Just so I know where it is. Uh, uh, I will add a. Basically, I'll look at them and then look at look at like the people here. Especially since I was hit by the lightning also. Mm -hmm. And then I'll basically skip like the. And then I'll probably go with the rest. And then, yeah, would that be uh, deception, intimidate, or whatever check, or persuasion even? This one would be. Uh... You can roll persuasion, but it'd be better off for you to roll intimidation for being awesome and Tarn. Okay. Essentially, the DCCs are using intimidate. Okay. All right, gonna roll some checks. All right. Two in front of you. Well, those, those all three of them look like they're gonna fucking run, but you're now not sure. Uh, the two in front of you seem unsure if it was actually you who summoned them. Yeah. So I'm gonna give them an orange halo. They're definitely still hostile, air quotes, but they're not. Uh... Basically, it's a uh, if I try to move past them, will they attack me, or are they stupid enough to attack me? Type of deal. Especially since they these things attack me. These two will not attack. Especially this one, because he's full and frightened. This one is 100% going to take his reaction. Okay. Now that said, they are still not going to let you just move through them. This guy would. He is too scared not to this move through This is a window. That is a window. <laughs> uh, be better off, honestly, just staying. If you, if you go crawling out a window, that might hurt your look. Yeah, especially that. Do I just fireball here? 
I might as well just set everything else on fire at this point. We are we are kind of in mid rampage. Uh, I mean, are you trying to spare the innocent or not? That's the call you have to make right now. I mean, I wouldn't hit them with it unless he attacks me. But if they're all going to run anyway, yeah. Uh, you know what? I kind of need healing anyway. Mind if I just finish my turn? And then go ahead and finish your turn. That was the plan. Okay. Have your turn go okay. and then go to Garadin's top of the round for next session. Yep. Bonus action. Move this over. Mm -hmm. Attack. All right. This isn't my actual spiritual weapon. Oh. Attack. That's a miss, so I don't get that healing yet. Indeed, that is most certainly a miss. And then... That's actually a one, roll to confirm. Ugh. I'll just do the 1d20. You're good. Carry on. Mm -hmm. I have concerns for what happens if a spiritual weapon misses. Okay. Rolls on the magical spell fumble table. I critically fumbled my spiritual weapon. My spirit degrades. <laughs> Wait, was there a stamina that I could use to take a five foot step? Yep. Let me double check that, because I might still just leave. I posted it in general, the full uh, stamina listings. Spend two stamina to move five with evoking attack opportunity. If you do so, you're considered could I, could I, Could I go here and then, then take the stamina step? I mean, you could. Yeah. Okay. And then it, it, my movement will be half for the rest, so I will get five feet. Basically, I'm going to just sort of toss a fireball and start walking out. No, you're here. So moving to here would be 15 feet. Using that feature 20. would then half uh, yeah. your movement. So from 30 minus 15 would mean that you have uh, zero feet of movement left as you take the five foot step. Yeah, basically I'm moving to leave and then I will fireball. Yeah. A fireball on the way out. All right. This is probably what I'm going to do. As I've been discussed. Mm -hmm. And then because it's a free action, in the... Alright, well, first of all, let me click the fireball. Alright, a rolling oh. ball of fire explodes forth within the area. Well, you are, are you uh, just hitting these two? It, yeah. Okay, draw the area so I know it's getting fired. Because I need to worry about fire damage at this point. But I will give them their safe. Eh, so as much as possible on fire. Alright. Big save. Big save. Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ! My dice! Oh no! Okay. Well, that's well, that's fine. I, I mostly want the, fire. I mostly wanted the eighteen healing to myself. Does anyone feel like Sage's dice are always unreasonably good? Like every session? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> no, no, I feel kinda... like I feel like he's got high peaks and very deep valleys. Yeah, my my dice are There's crazy. There's a lot of there's a lot of mercilessly un unreasonably brutal, or he can't roll for fucking shit. Yeah, no, I mean I've had a session where all I rolled was basically d5s, one to five, and I've had sessions where I was rolling d5s, but you know, sixteen and higher, like the entire session, and I almost TPK'd a party on one of those ones. So uh, my dice are crazy. Anyways, uh, they have opened slam by the fire, but it seems like their form is unharmed that draining of your life energy seems to have uh given them a f sort of field of a health around themselves okay and does it i do bypass any resistance they, they're yeah, not resistant so. to fire it's just uh no. i was just describing the fact they had temp hp and still hasn't gone through the temp hp but they have been hit and uh keep this here because i'm gonna use that for fire preferences for shoops and whoops but anything else for your turn 
Uh, I'm going since I'm at the door now. Mm -hmm. Like as I'm walking out. And as dramatic effect, I would have done the fireball here as I'm doing that. As basically, I'm I'm sort of yell, yelling this out to everybody at this point, including like these citizens over here. Mm -hmm. Roll me a intimidate. Okay, last one of night. Fuck. Can oh. I get advantage on that because I did the fireball too? As I did the purge by flame, I f I feel like that should have actually. I will give you it for the people near you, but some people are a little far off, and that explosion. No, that, that's fine. Explosion if would mask your sound. Yeah, that's fine for people who wanted to do that. For the people near me. Yeah, you can give uh, another roll for those near you. Okay. This area is now just oh, fire. Okay. Okay. That's him. very convincing. <laughs> All right. Well, they look pretty, pretty spooktacular. And, uh, we're just going to mark them with cyan so you know that they are just full and booking it out of here. Don't want to get involved with the Empire's Purge. Probably don't want to attack their own cult theater. Mm -hmm. You know what? Just leave and see what happens later. All right. But now that you what have created a giant field of fire within the foreman's office, you see the cultists around you beginning to steel themselves against your might while the militia here seem panicked and ready to flee. Uh, LB, what we call the session? Hey, uh, yeah, and I do have a question. Would yes. that change what people perceive Lunara to be at this point? Because I have made it very clear. You do not think the militia who are aware of what just occurred, so those who failed, are going to be attacking her regardless. Um, yeah. They they might notice something changed with her when they look at her. Yeah. It's... It's mostly just sell our story. Yeah, it's, it's, it's possible that these will notice, but they're full on booking it. This guy's not going to notice. He's frightened. He's not going to be paying any attention towards her. Well, I think we're just talking about the people outside. Yeah. Because he stepped through the doorway and said. It's yeah. basically, it gives them cre uh, precedence to yeah. believe that. These she two, is. Um, they did see that. They might. I'll roll for them. I might as well roll for them now so I don't forget. I have a question for you, though. Wouldn't. Okay, never mind. What was your question? Would me wearing that one guy's jacket change anything. But whether that's advantage or disadvantage, fuck me. Well, uh, the DC is 25, so they all failed. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, no, uh, the DC is the intimidation that Ayn rolled. If they used persuasion as Osman, it would actually be five lower than what they rolled. But, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's what I kind of figured. Yeah. It's like... I mean, that's why I was like, no. you can use persuasion or intimidation. So Intimidate was a fireball for a dramatic effect. Mm -hmm. uh, this guy over here... He is a little too far to really get much of what just occurred. Um, so he's still he thinking you as what you are. But these two look like they uh, saw that. They're likely going to be fleeing on their turn and leaving this combat. They are um, now seeing an agent or inquisitor of the Empire. Yeah, uh, the common that's, folk, that's, that's... They're, they're common folk. They're probably going to be fleeing as well. Oh, God, fuck this. Oh, yeah. Well. yeah. So uh, from it's... there, that is the uh, session. Right. Hope you guys had fun. And yeah. I am going well, to go raid Tiff. Yeah. Yeah. We, yeah. we had a lot of fun. Finally, a plan's working out. It's true. Even if yeah. it's fr even if it's identity stuff. <laughs> yeah, we, uh, made, you know, we made this entire situation better. <laughs> you know, it actually might be better because uh, if the townsfolk believe that the Empire is using 
uh, these um, cursed ones as forces, and you destroy the cult, suddenly you just gain a new ally for the uh, the cause. <laughs> yeah, thank you. So it's probably a good thing. Now, I, I, I are, feel like we've gone through like 10 now. plans to get here, though. Yeah, you have gone through a lot of plans to do this. <laughs> oh.